So we're going to incorporate a multifactorial strengthening technique. Um, this patient's status post uh, Mason's two fracture ORIF. Um, it's about week four and a half right now. Uh, we have been incorporating some isometric strengthening around week two and week three around the elbow, wrist, and shoulder. Um, and now we had progressed to actually loading uh, biceps, triceps, uh, elbow flexors, and extensors uh, with very light resistance. And now we're going to do something holistic that's going to incorporate the shoulder, uh, the hand, wrist, and the elbow. We're going to do uh, a D1 flexion extension PNF pattern here. So essentially how I'm going to instruct my patient here is going to start in full pronation here. At this point, uh, range of motion has returned, so he does have full elbow flexion extension. And we're pretty much good on the pronation supination here as well. So we start in the pronation. I'm going to have my patient come up and bring his arm across his body like so and try to curl his bicep into his nose. And I'm going to resist him through that motion. So I'm going to give him a light resistance through here. The purpose and goal that I'm trying to do is re-educate the muscles around the elbow, shoulder, and wrist here that haven't been firing the way that they should have been um, since he's been immobilized. Um, we are then going to add in the extension component. So now I'm going to resist in the back of the hand here and the back of the elbow as he extends down. We'll come across, extend back of the hand, push in the back of the elbow, lock in there. So we're going to do uh, two or three sets of about 15 reps and we'll incorporate this into our therapy sessions to hopefully increase the strength around the shoulder, elbow, and wrist.